So we just... Hi guys, it's Lisa from New Life on the Road. How are you all doing today? I thought I would share with you our natural remedies for when our, one of our boys is sick. Um, if you had watched the two previous vlogs, which will have links underneath here, you'll see that we had our son home from the Navy deployment. He'd been out at sea for seven months. It was the best homecoming thing ever. It was just the best day to have him home. Um, I'm wearing one of the t-shirts today. It says, Welcome home, Hayden. We love you. I had some t-shirts organized for him. Um, he came home, let me think about this, today's Monday, so he came home a week ago on a Saturday. He got here at 10 o'clock. Saturday he was good, Sunday he was fine. Monday we were back here at the bus, we got back Saturday night, so Monday we were back here at the bus. Monday night I went back into Sydney to spend some time with him and to also have a massive surprise from hubby on Tuesday night. Um, again, the video for that one will be down below. It was amazing. You've got to check it out, what hubby organized. It was such a big surprise for our wedding anniversary. It was our 19th wedding anniversary. It was so cool. I can't believe he kept it all quiet for a whole month and had organized it with everyone. Incredible. So that was Tuesday night. By Wednesday, we were back at our son's place in Sydney, and he had come down with an ear infection, and it was bad. It was really, really bad. He had high temps, sore throat, which led to tonsillitis, an ear infection in only one ear, and his glands were like golf balls on his neck. They were massive glands. You could feel them. I could massage them. I could move them, but I couldn't get rid of them. They were there. Like, you could see they were there, and you... He, he had no energy. He had been pushing himself really hard towards the end of the deployment. The last month they were down team members. Some of them were sent home early. It's called early leavers in the Navy. So the ones that get sent home early, when, they get, when the ship gets back, they go back onto the ship and become part of the crew. The ones that were there to the very last moment and come home with the ship, they get a month off now. So he has a month off. Um, and I was wondering how he would go coming back because he was pushed for time. He was pushing his body to the limit. He was doing four jobs or four people's jobs by himself. He was just go, 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 go. He was staying up till 10.30, 11 o'clock at night trying to get his job done. And then in the morning he was awake at like 6 o'clock or Actually, no, he was awake by 6, so he was awake really early in the morning, and it was just full-on go, go, go the whole time. So I was kind of expecting him to go downhill a little bit in regards to health, but I didn't expect it to be such a big dive. So by Wednesday night, we were back in the motorhome, and we do natural remedies. We don't ever go to a doctor unless it's absolutely an emergency. We'll use them in emergencies. They're great for emergencies, but we don't go just for head colds or infections. So we started off with garlic. He just ate garlic by itself. David chopped it off. So you grab a clove of garlic, you chop it up, you leave it for about 20 minutes sitting on the bench or on a cutting board to actually activate the garlic. The garlic has to be activated. And then you swallow it with water. So you swallow the whole garlic whole and you just... Don't chew it, just swallow it. He started off with that. We went to garlic French toast. He had that for lunchtime Wednesday. And then we went to honey and lemon and garlic bread and spicy food. And then Thursday it was full on. I was full on with the remedies. We gave him spicy meals. I gave him train smash. Train smash, I'll put a photo in right now. Train smash is onion, garlic, tomatoes, any type of tomatoes. We use the ones that my other son's growing, Kyle's growing tomatoes. We used them. And paprika. So you do onion. You brown your onion up in the fry pan. Let it sit as long as possible. Then you add the garlic. Let that brown up. Then you add your tomatoes. Soften them down. And then you add two tape 
let me think about this, two teaspoons of paprika, um, heaped teaspoons of paprika, and then you cook it for about 20 to 30 minutes, so it's all, it looks like it's smashed, <laughs> it looks like tomato is smashed, so that's why we call it train smash. Um, and then you put it with toast if they want to eat it with toast. It is spicy. It is very spicy. For the garlic, I used a whole bulb of garlic in it, crushed. So you get your bulbs of garlic and you usually use like one clove for a meal or two cloves for a meal. I used the whole bulb of garlic. That's how potent it was. Um, then we've done massages. Then we did roasted garlic in the ear. You just roast the garlic in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes till it's soft. Wait till it cools down enough for you to be actually touch it with your fingers. Take the skin of it off and just pop it into the ear and let it sit there for as long as possible. Um, and then by so by Thursday night, I went, you're not well. And we'd gone for a swim at the beach because we're not far from the beach. So we'd gone for a swim to the beach and it was freezing cold because of his temperature. So by Thursday I had booked him an appointment with Chinese massage and ear candling and that was at 6.30 and it was a whole hour of massage after the ear candling. Thursday night we had an onion cut up next to his bed that absorbs all the germs in the area and takes it away from the person so he slept with that. Friday morning he wasn't so good. He kind of getting better. He woke up with a smile for the first time in ages so that was good. I was really happy with that. Friday night he did a gym session and I thought all right you're on the mend. You must be on the mend. So we did lots and lots of garlic, lots and lots of spicy food, spicy burritos. I went up to Stockland and I went to the burrito store and ordered spicy chicken burrito. It was very spicy for him. He must have lost his touch because we can eat spicy food and he can't anymore. So he must have lost his taste buds for spicy food. Um, lots of garlic bread, um, soup. I had done chicken and ginger soup, which I've also done a vlog on that. There's a video called Chicken Ginger Soup for the Soul. So I've already done that video. He had like three bowls of that. Um, so yeah, we cured him by Saturday he was ready to drive home and he was okay I haven't spoken to him today and it's Monday so fingers crossed he didn't go downhill again so he just needs lots of sleep now lots of vitamins lots of good food um, lots of natural food lots of soups um, lots of lots of vegetables and getting back onto the green smoothies that we used to do for him he needs them so now I, I just thought I would share a quick update in regards to healing naturally um, if you have any questions, comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, we are not doctors, but we just do our research online and through other books and heal naturally. We did do peroxide in the year, but I'm not going to discuss that one. That's something that you need to do your own research on. It's diluted peroxide, but you have to be careful. If you use too much peroxide in an infected ear, it'll burst. Not burst, but it'll bleed it'll bleed with blood um, so you have to do your own research on the peroxide so yeah basically it was lots of onion garlic spicy food honey and lemon massages I'd done one before we had sent him off for a Chinese massage um, lots of moving the glands on the neck because you could just see the glands sticking up there so lots of that movement to try and get it to move and heal naturally um yeah and fingers crossed he has a great three weeks off before he returns back to work. Trying to keep him active and not sitting in his unit by himself and dwelling on everything that he learnt and seen while he was overseas. Some of the stories they're telling us are incredible. Some he's not allowed to tell us, which is totally understandable. It's good to have him home. Um, absolutely amazed with how well he's just fitted back into the family. I was worried about it. Silly me nothing to worry about he's fitted back into our family really well um, he's happy to be back in Sydney happy to be back in his own place with his own car we got it detailed before we gave it back to him 
we put new tyres on it, four new tyres, detailed and an oil change and a checkup because David can do that through his work. So we did all that and handed back his car keys and handed back his flat keys and super excited to have him home. Now we are waiting for our second son. He graduates in four weeks time. <laughs> Amazing. So that means he's done 15 weeks in four weeks time. It'll be 15 weeks of on-job training. And he also has his first assignment, um, and it's not going to be in Sydney, so it's going to be a posting. Um, it's only a small assignment. It's for four weeks, I think. Um, but that's going to give him a lots of experience and lots of on-job training experience for his category because he's done a different category to our first son. So that's exciting. We're going to go and see the base at Watson in four weeks' time and see him get his award and take lots of photos and congratulations. Um, in regards to anything else in our motorhome lifestyle and update, I'm going to do another video on that because this one's getting too long. <laughs> so I thought I would share our natural remedies with you all, let you know how our two sons are doing in the Navy, and I shall give you an update later in regards to the motorhome situation. Thanks guys for watching. Please, thumbs up. Guys, guys, we need to hear from you. We haven't heard from you guys in a while. We love to interact with our viewers. So I would love to hear any other health tips or natural remedies that you guys use or recommend or have you taken on board some of the stuff that we've shared and used. If you've used any natural remedies for your family, love to know, love to hear from you. You guys rock. Thanks for watching guys. Give us a thumbs up and we shall see you next time. Bye guys, bye YouTube, you rock, bye.